Now versus AR, and uh, apologies to Wheats here. Wheats officially on the COD Champs roster, joining BL Fire, yeah, Burns can't. Off, and Anticity. <clears throat> so basically, that hashtag of Hurry up, Miyagi. Yeah, that's He's gonna be so confused. Yeah, like, yo, what, why, why do I hurry up? What, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yo, real talk though, who is Miyagi playing with that champ? Right? He's 17. Is he? Is he not 18? He's 18. Oh no, he is just, 18. Just, just didn't get in? Who's hey. he playing with? I'm so confused. You just, Miyagi, who are you playing with? I, I have so I'm much to drive. study I'm before I'm this weekend. I'm like, you just kind of have Bola. There's been so many events recently. Wait, no. There's so many season one teams. All right, denial though. No, no. he was on. According to the cat right. yeah. They're, they're currently no, they're playing on... with is who AR is using at champs. You just like completely. Yeah, I just mind f to everyone here in the studio. No, like, Will's all confused in the control room. It is a tie game, though. We should point out AR locking down the final seconds. That is BL Fire working on the outside with Burns sitting inside. So switching over your COD vision to just the opponents. See what Burns plans on doing here. He is actually able to pick up the final 20 points. A huge chunk of time. They are now in the lead by 16. But it all comes down to this next fight. Burns off, charging in, contesting is gonna win it. Big kills there, his teammates still spawning out on the opposite side of the garage. It's gonna be Wheats now trying to push in. Shots coming from all over, J-Cap is cleaned up. Down goes Anticity though, his support, and it's up to Burns. You like totally just confused me, Chris. Did you find a solution, or did you just get more confused? I, you, you basically got me even more confused than I already was. Good. No, that's that's not good because I. That's what we do, Ben? It's, a, it's an American game really? called Confuse the Brit. Well, it's working. I don't like it. It's successful. Right. Nineteen points separate was... these two squads. Wheats on the rotation to the top of the map. That hard point will be moving up here in about seven seconds. So. Your By the end of this game, just I'm about tied as the rotation comes through. After rise, I was right. I knew it was rise. rise. You you confused the living hell out of me. Yeah, right. I, I said rise. Rise and Sebastiano. Yeah, I was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, duh. Because they traded. You, Obviously. You, <laughs> no, that's not funny. Oh you, man. You like just hurt my head so much. I was it's like, okay. they traded. Right. Wheats so for confused. Miyagi because Miyagi was being a cancerous teammate on AR. They traded him. Now they have Wheats, and Wheats is godlike. That was the clip. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Aren't you happy that we're going to spend all tomorrow just writing notes on the I've already done my two teams coming? I've already done my notes. You should share them or read them. I did read them, which is why I was saying I, I literally just did this like yesterday. Nice. I was like confused. That's why Anticity you has the hard point to break. Three players in front of them. Big chunk of time available here for our Sentinel Squad denial. Behind the van, it's going to be replays. Staying alive, holding it down in the middle. You had J-Cap over on that A Street now pressing the action. Everyone set up on AR first, though, and here comes the push. Clay is going to lead it. Replays following it up. Can he get the big kills? Here's one player charging out. Replays deals with it with the foul. Gets support from J-Cap and Attach, and Attach is now in. 11 and 17, not the hottest start, but he's definitely racking up the interactions. Already sitting there at about uh, 29. After this first rotation of hills, they all look really, really good. They're earlier on every rotation. But like, they look really good. They haven't really made any like game-changing mistakes. Right, season one, you kind of sold them throw away games. Battlefire on top as well. That team house coming in clutch. Feels right. I believe getting two plays are actually still in the team house though. For I maybe wrong. Phyllis will probably let me know. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's still any. Team Thanks for watching the stream today. Yeah, I, I love Fearless. I love He's got our back. He's getting you home in time for some cookies, apparently. Double stuffed Oreos. I demanded. And milk. My bedtime's nine. <laughs> I'm just saying. Attach is going to find some Ooh, action on the sleep. other side of this tunnel. Pushes out, knows exactly where he's going to be. Thought he had the kill. Has to double back and track it down. His teammates in the kill feed, though, providing support. There's more as replays and J-Cap pick up a kill each. J-Cap watching this mid-cut. Replays. On your mini map on the opposite side, trying to push in 
from Gap. And he's going to be pushing the action here on the A Street. I love the aggression we're seeing here out of Denial, a three-point game. Yeah, replays play really well, 21 and 20. Unfortunately, going to fall as everyone from AR really put up even numbers. No one standing out too much. I mean, Valfire on top, of course, 25 and 23, but he's going to be rocking that ASM1. But two Semtex, and it looks like he's going to go for a really long rotation here. Try and get is this a good idea? Spawn. Yes. You know they're all spawning up top. Yes, because he's going to try and control this up. This is basically the gunfight. He can't pull through this. Oh. That was really bad. He needed to win that gunfight. He had no excuse there. That gunfight could have given them a massive lead. If he wins that, they're not going to be spawning up top. AR can flood the hill, whereas now you're going to see Denial consistently flood the hill. And yeah. You can argue, yeah, AR have the, the respawn for the next hard point. This but is actually. That's so much time lost. This is actually going to be AR's hill, all because Clay, kind of in window, shot JCap in no. the back. No, no, no they no, lost it no, just it won't. like that. It won't. It, that. That top spawn is just too dominant because you can. But for example, right. what Clay's doing right Where now. Where is that? It's just such a power position. AR was moving there. Why didn't they push all the way to the top then? Are they worried on this garage hill? They just got slayed. It was honestly, it all goes down to BL5 not winning that one gun fight at the start, and that's what's crazy about AW. You, it's very difficult sometimes to recover from one small mistake in a game of pop point. Like it, for one hill, like for example, you've seen AI. What well, they had a glimpse of it, mm -hmm. so they basically had to give up a full hard point, which has now made a tied game, and all they've got from it is control this last hill. And what's scary is the now not pushing that, and if Jacob gets his kill, he's gonna get control of this hill as well. Oh, J Cap, J Cap, jumping in. Burns picks up the two piece, and you see Bale or Balfire in the mix as well. Wheats gonna fall on the hill. Nothing he can do. On Tisty should be able to flood it. I'm trying to look through at the kills, and it's very even game so far. Replays, very even. kind of the only player shining. You see J Cap plus four as well as he's running the ASM one. Attached though. 12 captures. On the other side, it's a much more even spread when it comes down to capturing the hard point. This is going to come down to one player from either team just exploding. Uh, just going off in the last second to last hill. I would say look out for Burns off from AR. I'd say attach realistically from Ooh, Denial. Burns giving See, him the he's business. He, Final he's 10 up, seconds. Man. So he's now go, to the, go across the map because here's the real fight. Coming out of solar, it's going to be J-Cap. He gets one, he gets two, done. So now they have A Street locked down with J-Cap's Val. Over on B Street, you see Clay already picking up the double on your mini-map. And Disney and Wheats answering back, so they will be able to push up B Street. And Denial that she spawned completely out. That was a really uh -oh. good break from AR. That was really good. That was good. three down all at once. That was perfect. No one from AR fell. They all won the 1v1 gunfight. So now pressure back on Denial. Burns going to try and cover this mid side. Play to his right hand side. He's going to see the weapon. That's a massive two-piece from him. That's just going to delay Denial. There's the third ben, kill you from called Burns it. off. He's, he's heating up, man. Honestly, you can just kind of tell when, when he starts getting a shot on on that third to last hill, he he looks good. But now it's just for me, it's going to be about attach. Attach needs to have a solid performance here on the second to last hill to bring the now back into this game. And this is basically that one v one. It's going to be Burns off versus Attach. Burns jumps to the left. Attach looking for the second kill, can't connect with it. Rotation should be going down. This is an extreme. This no one's game rotating. Replays finally realizes it, and denial is going to be late to this. Real late. Wow, that Real could be late. a huge mistake. Oh, Clay stays alive, though. How is he still alive? Clay surviving the fight, but there's too many players inside the hard point. J-Cap now trying to break one-on-one, -on -one, gets the hard point, but just a second. And Attach now going to have his hands full. One player around the stairs won't be able to get it. Burns is going to follow up top, and the flank did come in from denial. J-Cap is inside as Clay tried to distract in the back once again. They AR still, coming down in the final wait, 20 seconds. They got no. it. They got it locked up. It's not enough time anyway. It doesn't matter. They're wow. Out, they're out by one point. AR could just have to contest anyway. They, no one called out the time left on the hard point, and you saw all four members of Denial with 10 seconds left. Instead of going for the new hard point down low, they challenged at the top. They rotated late, and AR all spawned out. A little bit of panic, I think, was was what came in at the very end there. And you know, you saw Clayster basically playing for his life. Matt, he did so well to stay alive. So well. But the teammate, which ultimately came behind him, died. So he was left one shot, trying to fend off against three people, buy his teammates enough time to try and contest that hill, get the now back in the game, but wasn't able to do so. Really, Burns, at the very end of that game, just, he played phenomenal. Ended up with most kills, 38, 35, 13 caps. The pressure he was putting on the hills 
was phenomenal. Wheats, it was worth the wait for him as well. Put up 12 caps of his own, right. almost a 1.0 KD. Was constantly pressing the action. On the other side, best slayer in the game was J-Cap. 40 bomb, just 31 deaths. So one in the books, AR on top. They've upset two big teams so far in TK and Phase Red, looking to make it three in a row against Denial. This would be huge. Going into regionals, they are looking this strong. Huge. They're in season huge. two. Huge. The pressure from that is I think off that, their backs now. Right. I think that's such a big part Let of it. Let them fly. Right. Let them fly, Ben. When you're a peacock, sometimes you got to spread your wings and just fly away. Search and destroy after this. Don't go anywhere.